afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to eBay. Th this was uh, a really nice scat that for whatever reason just did not follow through today. I'm sure that it will tomorrow. I'm going to be looking for new stuff tomorrow, but there really wasn't anything wrong with this today. It was not a long, it was a short. It just didn't want to break down for whatever reason. And the market was holding strong today. That could have had something to do with it, but I really don't think so. I think what happened is, if you want my honest opinion here, eBay got sold off into last night with the earnings, and then it got sold off some this morning. And then what happened? The powers that be, whoever in the stock, the people that own it long, decided not to panic about it today. And they decided not to sell off on it hard today. It's not situated yet for this chart, what it's going to do here. It could have fallen off a cliff today and been disaster all over itself. And that's what I wanted to happen when I watched it and did it this morning. It didn't. Does it mean it's not going to? No. Uh, I think that people see the strength in the market and didn't want to ag aggressively sell out of this today immediately. And that's what happened. It didn't get sold off immediately. So I actually did this a few times this morning and it didn't work out. And then I did it again this afternoon and had a nice trade in it. So let's go over the morning ones first and then the afternoon ones. Hold on. Here we go. So I was in this right away in the morning and I was up. Didn't take any off. Wanted to just get it to break 53 to take a little bit off. Didn't do it. Held here really nicely. This becomes problematic right here. As soon as it starts to do this bottoming tail with this green guy here, it starts to be problematic. Um, and I actually killed it before it would have stopped me out. I felt like this was problematic. I actually took the trade off um, and didn't get out of any of it here. But I kept watching it and didn't really want to give up on it because I liked it. And when it went over the high of the day here, it only did by a few pennies, 74 and 60. So I was okay with this because as soon as it ran up here, then it sold off again. So then I got back in this, but I protected myself by lowering the stop because it was so jerky and the stop really needed to be over, you know, over that area around in the, in the mid to high seventies. Um, and then it took me out again. As it turns out, it really wouldn't have mattered why. It rallied and flipped again and held 54, but even went over the 75 number and 80. Nothing with this made any sense today with the numbers except for the bigger picture. So rare, but this could not get over 54 and could not get under 53. And that's kind of where it got stuck today. So it's one of these strange things where you are waiting for something to break down in an area. It determines that it's not going to go higher. That's for sure. You can tell the way the, the nice curve is happening here in the 15 minute breakdown, but it really just didn't get sold off today. So I'm sure that this will get sold off tomorrow. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do something new, but I did have a nice afternoon trade in this. I watched it and saw it setting up and that it wasn't going any higher, which I never thought it was today really. And it's set up right here and finally stopped going above 70. And this is a reversal time. 1.45, 2 o'clock, 2.15 is reversal time. It started breaking down. And I really thought it would get down at least to the low of the day or 53. It didn't. Um, so I'm already out of this now. But I did have a nice trade into the afternoon in here on this, basically what was a 15-minute chart. Looking for the breakdown here in the 15-minute. Looking for it to break 40.35. It did. And this was very, very late. And I got out of this then with this bar here flipped and went 55% retracement of this and got out. I mean, this is still late to still be in something. It's by this time here, if it's not going to fall off a cliff, it's not going to get to 53. So I got out of this then in this bar here at 49, 349. And it's not going to make it down. It's not going to make it down to the low of the day or 53. But I chunked a little out of it this afternoon, even though it didn't work this morning. Other stuff set up and worked today, but this was the one that I really ha thought had potential to go to 51. It just didn't do it. Just didn't do it. The play was a short in this today. You had to chunk it out to play it and really stick with it. And if you actually, if you chunked out the morning trade I even took, uh, you would have been up. I was just looking for a big target in this today. I was trying to follow it through and it just didn't want to cooperate. So this is Melissa with thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information on how to trade gaps, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks and have a great day, everybody.